Yo, what's up? Welcome back. I'm Adrian Boisel, and this is the Adrian Graphics and Marketing Channel. And today, I know you probably clicked on this video because you're looking for the best laptop. It's great to have options, seven laptops, 10 laptops, top three, all that. But if you're like me and you're standing in the toilet paper aisle and there's seven different choices, 10 different choices, 20 different choices, you're probably gonna pick the wrong one and it might end up being one ply. I'm just kidding. That's just a joke I wanted to use because it fits to what my day's been like. But in all reality, giving you just one choice and one option if you're looking for the best laptop is what this video is about. And so I'm gonna talk about what is the best laptop in 2021, or almost to 2022, for graphic design. But I wanted to give you this context because a lot of people are making videos of all these different laptops and all these different choices. And if you're like me, you have a hard time making the choice. So what is the best laptop for 2021? In my opinion, and like I said in many videos before, this is just my opinion. You may disagree with me. You may be more tech savvy than I am. I'm very tech savvy, but I'm not a computer builder. I'm not an engineer. I'm not a scientist. I'm not gonna be able to build a laptop or customize or upgrade a laptop myself. One, because I don't have any interest in doing that. And two, because I don't have the skill set to do that or the time. So it's really important that you understand where I'm coming from in this video because the best laptop is based on just buying it and opening it up out of the box and getting to work. So the number one laptop that I think that you should be buying, I'm gonna give it away right here and right now, is the 2021 MacBook Pro 14 or 16 inch with the Pro M1 Pro or the M1 Max chip in it. This is an amazing laptop and the scalability and what you can actually add to this thing if you custom order it is absolutely amazing. So I wanted to jump in this with you guys today and show you what this laptop really has for you. So before we jump into these specs, I wanna give you the three criteria that I use. That's typically how I do everything that I do is I have three criteria that I go into thinking about what makes this the best laptop for graphic designers. Number one is the quality. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you a quick story that ties back to the quality, but the quality of the MacBook Pro is probably second to none. I gotta say, I've tried tons and tons of laptops, but the quality is a very, very important piece long lasting, high performance, things like that. These are all important pieces of the quality of the laptop that you're buying. So that was the first uh, factor in my decision. The second factor in my decision was the ease of use or the user experience. Apple has a beautiful interface. It's clean, it's simple, it's easy to navigate, and it's easy to learn. The learning curve is not steep. I love the elements and features that the PC-based computers have, Intel-based computers have. There's so many customiz customizations and features and bells and whistles on those that it can just be overwhelming and it's distracting from what the main purpose is, is to run smooth. And so that is the third piece of this, is the technology itself is very smooth, very seamless, very reliable. And when you're gonna use a tool like this, it's not about the money. I wanted to make sure, and I was gonna say this at the very beginning, but it's not about the money. The person that's watching this video wants the absolute best tool and doesn't care about the cost. That is me in most situations. So if you're like me, you want the highest quality and you don't care what it costs. So for me, the technology, the ease of use, and the reliability and overall quality, those are where I was making my decisions from and why I picked this specific laptop. So that leads me to my first question that I wanna ask you before I get into the specs, is what kind of laptop, what kind of computer are you using right now for graphic design? I'm really curious to know what you're using. Are you a PC person? Are you an Apple person? Maybe you hate Apple, maybe you hate PC. I'd love to know where you guys are at. You guys are my community, my tribe, and I wanna hear from you guys. So definitely drop a comment down below and introduce yourself there. All right, so are you ready for the specs? Let's go ahead and jump into the specs for the Apple MacBook Pro 16 inch or 14 inch. You can get a lot of these things, same of the features other than the screen size in both computers, but I wanna jump into the processors and this M1 chip first. All right, so the Apple MacBook Pro 16 inch or 14 inch is either gonna come with the Pro chip or the Max chip. The Pro chip is gonna allow you to have a 16 core GPU graphics processing unit. And then if you get the Max, you can actually upgrade to a 32 gig core GPU, which is very, very important if you're using Premiere and some of these high-end design programs, After Effects, you're gonna need everything that you can get to throw at this thing because sometimes we're running multiple programs that are very graphics card heavy at the same time. So it's really important to probably upgrade for the little bit of an additional money that it is from the Pro to the Max, especially if you're spending that much money anyway. I would highly recommend you consider the Max chip versus the Pro chip. 
They're both gonna have 10 core CPU, so they're both 10 cores either way you go, but you're gonna get that upgrade in the GPU and also in some of these other areas that I'm gonna talk about right now. So based on whether you do the Pro or the Max, you can get anywhere from 16 right out of the box gigs of RAM and as high as 64 gigabytes of RAM. That is a lot of RAM in a MacBook. My iMac I think has 72, but that's an iMac, right? So anywhere from 16 to 64, the computer that I have right now on my desk, this one here has 16, came right out of the box like that. And it's been an amazing computer. It hasn't had any problems, any lagging. It's not slow and it does everything that I need it to do. And so I highly recommend that you get at least that. But if you got the money, I would upgrade to the faster one, get you know 32 gigs of RAM, something in between the 16 and the 64. So it's just something to think about in terms of your RAM. RAM is very important to the speed and performance of your laptop. The next piece to this is understanding your storage. A lot of storage is now online, but if your computer has a small amount of storage, you're gonna to have to be turning things off and turning things on and dealing with iCloud. I've dealt with this a lot on my MacBook and I wish I would have gotten the MacBook with a little bit more storage. And so this MacBook Pro, the 2021 MacBook Pro is gonna come with right out of the box, a terabyte of storage, but all the way up to eight terabytes of storage. That's a ton of storage. So either way you go, you're gonna get a good amount of storage. And this is super important. So you're not having to try to turn things off and on. And you always have enough storage space on the computer as well as backing it up onto things like Dropbox, Google Drive and cloud storage programs. Now, in terms of colors, this is the one area because Apple is so trendy and stylish, they don't really give you a lot of options in terms of your color. So you can buy cases and things that can go onto your MacBook, but you're gonna be stuck with either space gray or silver. That is one of the drawbacks for me. I would love to have a red laptop or a black laptop. That's the one thing that I wish Apple would have done a little bit differently, but the simplicity and the ease of, ease of use goes back to their brand. They're trying to keep it simple. And if you wanna just buy a cover or a case for your laptop that clips onto the outside like I have, I don't have it on here right now, but I have a clip and a cover that goes on it. You can do that and totally customize your MacBook. A lot of people do it, but this is the options that you have is between the silver and the space gray. And then the last piece, I'm not gonna talk about displays and nits and the million colors right now. What I wanna focus on is the overall performance, which is the battery life. These MacBook Pros have amazing battery life. If you're doing video playback, you can get up to 21 hours 21 hours on the MacBook Pro. It's a little bit less on the 14 inch than it is on the 16 inch. I don't know the reason behind that. Maybe you do, you can comment down below. But 21 hours of video playback and then I think actual like web browsing and being in Google Chrome and using your applications, I think it drops down to about 18 hours. So that's still a really long charge time. If you're on the go, if you're traveling, this is a really, really good battery that they put in this computer. And that's another reason why I wanted this to be the number one laptop for graphic designers in 2021. So like I said, towards the beginning of this video, it's not about the money. The money is not the motivator in buying this. You want the best tool for the job so you can make the most amount of money, have the fastest computer and get things done efficiently, which is gonna make you more money down the road. So getting stuck or hung up on the price is not what this video is about, but you probably do want to know the price. So if you're gonna go with the 16 inch MacBook Pro entry level with the max chip, you're gonna be looking at a minimum of 2,500 bucks, but you're probably gonna be in that 3,000 to $3,500 range if you upgrade any of the things that we talked about, like storage, RAM, things like that. So you just want to take that in consideration. You're looking at a $2,500 to $3,000, maybe $3,500 investment into a machine. But like I said in the very beginning of this, of one of my decisions is the reliability and the quality. I have actually been able to own only two MacBooks in my entire life so far. I was a PC guy. I had an Asus and an Acer and an HP and a bunch of different laptops over the years that I was doing graphic design. And there's nothing that's been more reliable that has been more consistent for me than the MacBook. The MacBook is a very high quality piece of equipment. Apple doesn't really put out low quality anything. And so you can really rely that you're gonna get a good laptop. And this one right here, I got in 2016 and I'm still using it today. This is after my other MacBook was actually stolen and drenched in water. It was stolen out of my car. Actually, it was out of my garage in the middle of the night. And that's the only reason why I had to get another one in 2016, because my other one was stolen. My other one was working amazing. And I bought that one in 2011. So I probably would have been about getting rid of it by now. But if you really do the math on the numbers, if you own one laptop that costs you $25 to $3,500 for 10 years, and then you have to go buy four or five or six or even three laptops 
that are PC based laptops and you have to replace them over that 10 year span, you're actually spending more money on the PC than you are on the Apple and you have to go and switch computers and do all that nightmare. So it's about the reliability, the ease of use, making your life simple, making your life as least complicated as possible is the key to your success in all areas of your business, but especially in your main tool that you're gonna be using in your graphic design business. The one con that I wanna say, and I'm hoping that somebody at Apple ends up seeing this video, and this is why I'm bringing this up, is I have one common problem with the MacBooks, the charger. I've had to buy multiple chargers over the years for these things, and even the chargers that I bought six, eight, 10 months ago fall apart. They fall apart at the connectors, they fall apart at the base, the cords rip. That's the one thing I wish that they would do better is they'd make higher quality chargers that wouldn't just fall apart after a year, but it's probably another sales tool. It's a way that they make more money on accessories. They make a lot of money. I think the MacBook mouse or just a mouse in general from Apple is like $100. So this is just an extra way to make money, but they really need to step their game up on the charger quality. And that's the only drawback that I've honestly ever seen with the MacBook. So I think the reigning champion, the king of laptops, if you wanna just pull something, buy it, pull it out of the box and go to work is the 2021 MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro or the M1 Max chip. I would really suggest that you lean towards the 16 inch versus the 14 inch, unless you're gonna have external monitors because these laptops you can connect, I think up to two on the Pro and up to like four on the Max, which is great but you wanna get the bigger screen so when you're traveling around, you're not having to look at a little screen. And that's what I wanna leave you guys with. So MacBook Pro, king of laptops. If you want a good laptop, join Apple, come to the dark side or the good side, however you wanna look at it. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Adrian Boysell, I'll see you guys on the next video. And as always, keep looking up.